In today's quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a tab view in Swift UI. So as always, let me catch you up with my starter project. I just did file new, here's the default content view, didn't touch anything there. However, I did add three like placeholder screens, as you can see, red one view, blue two view, green three view. And again, just placeholders for what may be like your home screen, an account screen, right? Because in a tab view, you need a few different screens. Okay, so that's what these represent. If you wanna see the code form, there it is. Just the basic Z stack with the circle as the background and text on top. Back to our content view. Uh, this is where we're going to create our tab view. So here, let's get rid of this text, right? And we'll just write tab view. Sounds simple enough right now. Uh, and we can just do red one view, blue two view, green three view, right? And then let's run our preview. And you see we have our tab bar here. Now you'll notice I can click where you think the tabs would be. They're just invisible, right? So it's kind of like a fun little tab bar guessing game. Uh, but let's actually make them visible because that's obviously not what you want, right? So we'll stop our preview. In order to do that, we have to add a tab item to each view. So let's do that with our red one view first. Uh, we can do a modifier.tab item here, and then we get a label. This is where we can style it, right? And we just want an image and a text. Image, and then uh, because we want to use SF symbols, if you're not familiar with uh, SF symbols, I have a video all about that. I'll link it in the description. We're gonna use system name, and the system name for our home screen is going to be house, right? Again, this string that you have to put in there, that's gonna be an SF symbols. That's where you get that from. I won't dive into that now, but you can see in the lower right there, we have our house you know, to indicate our home screen. So now for the text, uh, we can do, you know, home again you can type in whatever you want so now we have our home tab there it's blue might not be what you want we'll talk about that later but for now let's add uh the tab items to the other views right so that was a red one view tab item copy and paste it into blue two and green three and now you can see we have three homes down there not what we want uh, again we use the sf symbol called person to simulate like an account screen uh, and you see we get the person graphic there and again, we'll call this uh, account. Of course, by the way, whatever your app is, find an image that's appropriate for your app, find a title that's appropriate to your app. Of course, um, these are just my quick little examples. And the tab for the green three, we'll just say bag to give us this little like cart thing. And uh, you know, we'll call it a cart. Um, actually, you know what? We can actually just do cart to make it a cart. See how quick and easy it is to change that with SF symbols. Um, now these are easy ones. I have them memorized. Uh, again, SF symbols has like 2,500 different icons you can use. So definitely check that out. But now when I run it, um, here you go. We see account, or I'm sorry, home, account, cart, good to go. And again, you can imagine these being like actual screens. Uh, and then the last thing I want to touch on, again, we don't, we don't necessarily want this blue color, right? So let's make it red or whatever color you like. So on the tab view, curly brace here, we can add a modifier called accent color and we'll do dot red. And you can see that will change to red and then it looks nice. We'll run it in the simulator so I can show you light mode and dark mode, how this adapts. And here we are, you can see uh, clicking around, it's red, do command shift A in your simulator to switch to dark mode. You can see how the tab bar changes to dark mode and our uh, accent color, you know, persists. So that's tab view and Swift UI in a nutshell. If you enjoy my presentation style, my teaching style, I started creating my own courses at seanallen.teachable.com. You can check it out there. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.